So I'm going to model um, the cardioid as an epicycloid, something with one um, wheel rolling around uh, another. Um, there's uh, a picture of the mechanism we're going to do. Um, we'll get to see how to do uh, a wheeled mechanism in GX Web. Uh, so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to stick um, an initial wheel here. We'll have it um, centered a day, we'll give it a radius of R. And it goes through the origin there. We'll put another wheel and join the center of the two wheels, a line there, and put a second wheel here, center at C. Um, we'll make it also radius R. And um, we'll make the distance between the centers 2R. So now if we want to see, uh, uh, let's drive this, this one by uh, angle theta. And so there we can, we can see the wheels going around. But if we want point D to do the right thing, to rotate as it goes around, uh, round, we, we want to make sure that D, the angle between C and D is specified. And we want that to be the same as this theta here. So now, as we go around, we can see that the wheel is, is rotating appropriately. And we can trace the point D. As theta varies, um, to get our curve, uh, if we want to see the equation of the curve, it was like this. Equation of the cardioid. Um, and we can, of course, um, animate the thing as theta varies. And if we want to, we can create an app. Let's just do that. We long press, uh, can I just save or copy the app? I'm going to save it here. And this is now a freestanding app, uh, which I can put in my website or whatever. Um, changing R isn't going to make much difference um, because it's just rescaling the drawing, but changing theta, um, we can watch it uh, move around.